And it's worked twice already this game. A pass and crash right there. Kelly Olenek inside, looking for Hart. Turned over by Gonzaga. And thrown away too high from Devontae Lacey, who again is just returning for Ken Bone in Washington State after missing the last four games. He injured his knee when the Cougs were blown out by Kansas in Kansas City back on November 19th. Roxy, I didn't like the last possession by, by the Zags. Oh, well, there's only one pass, and you have the seven-footer Olenek driving. You gotta make the defense shift a little bit. Here's Olenek missing, gets his own miss. The putback by Kelly Olenek. Olenek, who redshirted last year, really benefited from that redshirt season. A lot of bigs on the roster. Robert Sacre was going to play a majority of the minutes at the five, but he's finishing better around the rim. Got stronger and in better shape this season. Hernick Drew hits the side of the backboard with the three. And Gonzaga takes control. Mike Hart. Larry Bell Jr. Drives. Inside. Olenek lays it in. Nice play, good patience. Bell Jr. has been doing with his scoring in the first half. There with the beautiful drop-off assist. Olenek kept that ball high for the quick, quick lay -in. And Olenek with six all in the second half. Out of bounds to Washington State. Gary Bell, the Kent Washington native, making things happen for the Zags here in the second half. Beautiful drop-off and finish. Zags up three. I made it in under 30 minutes, which I guess is a record, but whatever. And then here's my man cave. I like to surround myself with greatness, which is why I got this. This is a fat head of one of the greatest defensive players in the NFL, like ever, throughout time. This here is a fat head mural of a bone chilling sack celebration. It's terrifying. <sighs> this is a fat head big head. It's just a big awesome face. I never liked this lamp. In fact, I hated it. So I put a fathead junior over it. Paid for my white's metal detector. Some young Gonzaga fans enjoying the Zag start to the second half here in Pullman. There's a house divided though. 39-36 Gonzaga leading. Let's take a look at tonight's Wendy's Wouldn't Watch. Brought to you by Wendy's and Elias Harris for Gonzaga, Brock Mona for Washington State. Miles, you spent a lot of time around Elias Harris this past summer. Yeah, I, I spent time with the, at the Nike Skills Academies, the LeBron James Skills Academies, working with the college guys. And Elias Harris was at that camp going against the top college players in the country. Mason Plumley, Doug McDermott, Cliff Pressy, Isaiah Cannon, CJ Leslie, the list goes on. Mike Moser, and he was arguably one of the best players at the camp all week long doing it inside and out. People loved his work ethic. The NBA scouts really raved about him. They, the only concern about him is that, is he a tweener at the next level? But I think you see tonight the versatility. He can put the ball on the floor. He can shoot threes. Been one of the most consistent players in Zach basketball history. Shot clock at 12. Mike Ladd. Over to Koenig Drew. Short from three. Kelly Olenek runs it down for Gonzaga. Here comes Kevin Pengus in the open floor. And the seven-footer, Olenek into the key. And he gets the bucket. And the largest lead of the ball game, Gonzaga by five. Inside 15 minutes to play. And you don't see too many teams giving it to their seven-foot five-man at the three-point line. But Olenek skilled enough maybe got away with the charge. There was some contact, modem was set. They let it go as a play on, but Olenek with the soft touch from six feet. Turnover on Washington State. The Zags six of eight for the field here in the second half. And now we see the matchup zone, Roxy. They worked on this for about 30 to 35 minutes and walked through today. Something that they needed in case of emergency. And right now with the Zags on a run, they wanted to change it up. 8-2 run for Gonzaga. Kevin Penga slips inside. Left it short. Brock Bowden clears for Washington State. Here's Mike Ladd. The 
Minnick does a great job of hedging and moving his feet on those on-ball picks. There's a foul and a reach in against Gonzaga. Second person on Gary Bell Jr. Fourth Bulldogs team foul here in the second half. And this is danger time for the Cougars here. Gonzaga's on a run. They need to get Brock Modem an open touch, slashing to the basket or cutting to the hoop or try to free him up on the perimeter to where he can operate from the three-point line. Black Bona, kick out. Devontae Lacey missing the three. And it goes over the top and out of bounds to Gonzaga. Shake it up for Washington State is Will DiOrio, the junior from Bainbridge Island, Washington. Go, go, go. As he came down right in the middle of the key, he seemed to be clutching his ankle. Will DiOrio getting looked at by the athletic trainer for Washington State. Let's get a look at what happened there in the key. Will DiOrio went down. Oh, just that ankle twist right there. And it went both ways. Rolled on the outside first, and then it looks like it came back on the inside. Ken Bone, the head coach for the Cougars, also showing some concern for Will DiOrio. Has played well off the bench for Washington State. This season two points tonight coming off a strong game here Saturday night the Washington State beat a solid Portland team here in Portland. Diorio had five points four rebounds in that ball game. And here's another look at Will Diorio oh. and the ankle which turned on him right there going for the rebound. And, and the worst thing you see about it like I said Roxy it goes both ways it goes to the outside first and then comes back to the inside. And you hope that it doesn't look like he can put too much pressure on it at this point. But I've been fortunate enough. I didn't roll my ankle too many times as a player. But the times I have, I know that feeling. You get the tingling feeling. The blood is rushing in. Looks like he's going to need some help off the court. Not wanting to put too much pressure on that, that left foot. There is Will DiOrio being helped off the floor toward the Washington State Bank. Gonzaga leading it here, 41-36. 13-51 remaining, and 10th ranked Gonzaga being threatened here by their rival, Washington State. Thursday night on ESPNU, the Commodores take on freshman sensation Samaj Kristen and the Musketeers, Vanderbilt versus Xavier. Thursday, 7:30 on ESPNU, and also live on Watch ESPN. ESPN, the home court of college hoops. Kevin Pangos has it spin out. But gets his own miss, and the Zags regroup here in the half court. How many shots has he just had go in and out tonight? A couple of the floaters, one three-pointer in the first half. Certainly not like last year when he lit up Washington State for 33 points and nine threes, tying the Gonzaga record, which was held by Dan Dicka. Mike Hart, the blue guy, keeping the ball alive, battling in the middle. Here's Gary Bell Jr. Eight-point Gonzaga lead, their largest of the night. And look how Mike Hart, he knows his job is not to shoot out there, just the touch pass right in rhythm into the shooting pocket for Gary Bell to knock down the three. It's just the little things that make a huge difference. Royce Woolridge into the key and a block is called. He'll go to the free throw line, but great ball movement by Gonzaga. Excellent job here. You it starts with Pangos, a little bit of pick and roll. He kind of rejects it, picks up his dribble. But the beautiful touch pass right on the money. He sees Gary Bell, anticipates that the shooter's open. Unselfish play by Mike Hart. Third foul on Mike Hart. Royce Woolridge shooting two. Now one of three of the line. The son of the late Orlando Woolridge played his college ball at Notre Dame. Sixth overall pick by the Chicago Bulls. And a 14-year outstanding NBA career for Orlando Woolridge. Man, was he one of the best athletes that you've ever seen? Some of the dunks that Orlando Woolridge had in his career. The force that he had attacking the rim. They were unreal. David Stockton comes in for Gonzaga. As Mike Hart gets a breather here. Pick and roll. Stockton to Linux. The throw down, Elias Harris with 18. 46-37, Gonzaga. They're starting to take this game over here in the second half. 
Here's Devontae Lacey on the drive. Gets the move. And a shot to go with a strong take to the basket. Lacey's a big, powerful guard at 6'3", 206. Just overpowered Kevin Pangos on that, on that possession. And a welcome return to the floor for Ken Bone with Devontae Lacey back out there. Kelly Olenek slips back door and lays it in. Olenek has 10 all in the second half. And a 30-second timeout for Ken Bone and Washington State as this game is starting to slip away from the Cougars. Well, the Zags did a great job of running high ball screen. This is their, their open set. So they bring the five-man Kelly Olenek up into a high ball screen. And Olenek's going to roll on the first one. And we see the guy that's orchestrating it. His dad was pretty good at executing pick and rolls. Excellent pocket pass. Olenek with a beautiful touch pass drop ball to Harris. Great execution. Now watch Gary Bell in the corner here. He shapes up behind the defense, and that causes Mike Ladd, who should have been the help guy on Olenek, to roll up to the shooter, leaving Olenek wide open for the beautiful touch pass Stockton to Olenek. I don't know what Mark Few said at halftime.